Azuri Offense is coming up this weekend. Uh, I'm gonna quickly go over what I'm taking and why I'm taking it. And you'll notice that, again, I don't take a lot of stuff and this is my first time using an actual rucksack just for the fun of it, so let's get into it. I got two Mountain House meals and two Alpine Airs. The two Mountain Houses that I'm taking are the uh, Chili Mac with beef, which is actually my favorite Mountain House meal. It's amazeballs. Uh, the Alpine I'm taking, pork jambalaya. I'm gonna give this one a shot this year because it sounds really fun. And then kind of a breakfast thing is the cinnamon apple crisp. I'm also gonna try the Heather's Choice. This is the uh, grass-fed bison chili, pinto beans, uh, kidney beans, bell peppers, blah, blah, blah. This actually sounds really freaking tasty. For snacky snacks, I'm going with different types of jerky this year. So this is a country archer, that's the Fuego. I've got Think Jerky uh, and another country archer. And then I got a what a fat stick or a fatty stick and stuff like that. The, the jerky and the snacks are gonna stay in my assault pack, in my butt pack, I'll go over that in a second. The food, uh, the actual dehydrated meals are gonna stay in my ruck. I'm bringing my standard kitchen pack uh, inside this cool little bag I got. I have my Russian tea that I've had since the, uh, the first insurgency I went to. And then I also have, come here little guy, my jet boil. This thing has lasted me an insane amount of time. Uh, the only change I'm really making is instead of the giant jumbo canister, I'm taking the small little canister because uh, these small little things last you probably a couple Milsim West events and it's smaller so you can just fit everything in here uh, plus more stuff. Weather's gonna be beautiful this weekend for, you know, Victorville. And beautiful, by the way, means it's not raining. So I'm just gonna take my regular, my tried and true, my Merrill Moabs. Again, I think these are the Moab uh, two or three or whatever number, but these are the non-water resistant ones. So these are just regular Moab shoes, which are worth every dollar. Uh, everyone's like, Merrill Solomons, Merrill Solomons. Merrill, I don't care, they're both great. I'm taking three extra pairs of undies, uh, plus obviously the ones I will be wearing on my butt when I show up to the venue. Usually I'll only go through like one or two and that's just me being a house cat. You can get away with one depending on what you're doing. Uh, it just kind of depends on preference. I'm taking five pairs of socks, plus the ones I'm gonna be wearing once I rock in. Uh, these are both like the sort of the calf length uh, and about ankle height, I guess, uh, because since I'm only wearing like high tops, basically, I don't really need knee high socks or anything like that. And I don't really own a bunch because it's weird. Uh, so I'm just taking and I'm, these are just regular and these are just regular like off Amazon socks. I'm not doing any crazy hiking or any, I don't need any specialty camping sock. I'm also taking a pair of sleep socks because I don't need the crazy thick wool ones because it's not Clovis. So I'm just taking an extra clean pair of dry socks specifically to sleep with so my feet stay warm. I have my classic uh, Notre Dame sleeveless moisture wicking shirt that I'll wear as like a, a base underlayer just to sort of help me stay a little bit warm. Uh, and it, cause this always doesn't smell. You know darn well, I'm taking my blue striped shirt as well as my uh, just a regular black t-shirt, probably maybe one or maybe another shirt extra, but I don't really do like uh, a Russ for poor man's Russian soldier as militia. Some guys will, some guys, it just kind of depends on what you want. I just do some janky civilian stuff. The pants I'm gonna be wearing for the most part are gonna be my normal Russian pants that you've seen me wear in all kinds of other like Milsim West content and Airsoft content. Uh, those are my, the Mordor uh, Partisan pants. I think those are in my apartment right now because I forgot to bring them to work. My spare pants that I'm gonna bring that are going to go in the very bottom of my rucksack. Uh, these Emerson, uh, these are not the yellow label. These are the regular Emerson pants because these are softer. Just a pair of M81 pants in case one of those pairs breaks because remember, it's fucking Victorville and there's just sharp shit everywhere. The big heavy jacket that I'm gonna bring that's also gonna be at the bottom of the ruck is my, uh, again, this is another Mordor tech. Uh, this is the Gorka jacket. This thing is super baller. I wore it through Clovis, I really like it. The main jacket I'm gonna be wearing that, again, is in the house. It's actually drying out right now because I washed it all last night. Uh, it's just a green Adidas track jacket with the white stripes down the sleeves because, you know, we're gangster like that. Uh, but that's gonna be my main jacket that I'm wearing throughout the day. 
if you over layer, you're gonna sweat your ass off. So that's why I would rather wear like maybe one or two thin layers for normal daytime operations. And then at night we can add maybe this jacket or another undershirt or a long sleeve shirt or something like that. Deodorant, look at me. Take some fucking deodorant. You're gonna smell like shit. Take some deodorant. To get extra like city boy, I'm bringing a camping chair. Uh, this is a regular REI, what is this? The Skyward uh, camp chair. It's got a little weight to it, but I'm not bringing a lot of stuff. So it's really not gonna matter to me. And it's a flat infill. We're not going more than a mile and a half. So don't be a bitch. The Rook that I'm bringing is my brand new Osprey Rook 50. This thing's pretty badass. Uh, I'm not taking it out, so go screw yourself. My sleeping bag, which is in the little sp the specific sleeping apartment, is my uh, my REI, this, that thin summer bag that I wore in the insurgency a couple years ago. Uh, because the weather's not gonna be crazy cold, but there is gonna be wind chill, I'm taking my thinner bag and my bivy bag for wind resistance. Uh, because that actually fits in here. That big orange thick uh, hunker down sleeping bag that I have from REI, that plus my bivy will not fit in the sleeping compartment, so I just scaled down a little bit. And again, I ain't no bitch, so I'll be fine. But I am a bitch when it comes to a sleep pad. I love my sleeping pad. This is the same Nemo switchback I've had for the last couple years. Uh, I'll be dead and damn before I sleep raw on any surface at George Air Force Base. So I'm taking my sleeping pad. Uh, I've also got my, where'd it go, 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 my poncho. I also have my poncho, uh, which is gonna be pretty cool. My homegirl Alyssa is letting me run her, uh, I don't know, Aikulu or some, some fancy ass Whoopi blanket that's like $180. And I'm gonna try and just use that and a poncho as a sleep system, and I'm gonna try to not use an actual sleeping bag, but just in case that doesn't work and it actually gets way colder than anticipated, I have my sleeping and my bivy bag ready to go, but what I'm gonna try and do is just use my uh, switchback, my poncho, and that extra, and my uh, whoopee together. Bringing the Smirch back, kids. Uh, I was using an M81 LBV for the last insurgency I went to. I wanted to change it up a little bit. Bringing my Smirsh back. It's the same Smirsh that I've been using for, I don't know, the last couple years. I'm in the butt pack, whoop, in the little butt pack right here. I'm keeping my DBS beanie, uh, some jerky for like little quick snacks, my headlamp. I have my sling in here that I'm gonna tie to my rifle when I grab it. And that's pretty much it. This is also where I would keep my little green thin Adidas track jacket, uh, just cause if it's warm and I don't need it, I have a place to, just a hasty spot to stow it. Or if it gets a little extra chilly, I, like maybe around as the sun sets and we're still sort of in the middle of an operation, I just reach back, pull my jacket out, put it on real quick. The big change that I'm making this year for my Smirsh is now, the kosher kids are gonna fucking hate this, but go fuck yourself. It's got canteens on the back of it. Uh, because I'm using a ruck, you don't really want to wear a camelback or a hydration system on your back and carry a ruck at the same time. That's going to feel weird as shit. It's not going to be comfortable. Uh, the weight distribution is going to be, it's just, it's, you're not going to have a good time. So instead what I'm doing is I'm just using canteens as a water source, which is OG oh, as fuck, it? which is how I got into the army any damn way, you kids with your fucking hydration packs. So I throw my Smirsh on, I throw my rucksack, and I go fuck NATO. The gun that I'm gonna be using is that same ENL New Essentials AKM. The only upgrade we've done to it is just the V3 uh, Gate Titan, and then that's it. I'm gonna be taking two 1200 milliamp hour 11 volt batteries from Matrix, those long, uh, those stick or the pencil batteries. Uh, I think my, because my gun is technically a premium rental for my field, I think it's still in the case at my actual airsoft field. So my guy's gonna have to bring that in. Uh, Isaiah's gonna do a quick little PMCS on it, make sure it's good to go. And then I'm gonna attach my sling to it when I get there. Fuck, fuck games with NATO all fucking night. That's basically it. That's the down and dirty. I'm not taking anything fancy. You don't see me taking a fan or a heat. No, 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 no. If I can't put it on my back, I don't fucking need it. Caber, who the fuck are you, nerd?